But first, we have some breaking news just into our newsroom. Just in the last half hour, we've learned more about a police chase and crash that sent a Buffalo police officer to the hospital. While you were sleeping, the teenage driver of the SUV police were chasing was arraigned. District Attorney John Flynn just released more details about the case. According to the DA, it started with a 911 call about a gun in an SUV. The driver, an unnamed 16-year-old, led officers into Mount Calvary Cemetery where he clipped a pole. That's when the pole fell onto the police cruiser of 29-year-old Jonathan Negron. It, at that point, all people who were in the car got out and ran before they were taken into custody. Also in the SUV was a 15-year-old boy and two other adult males. Last night, the 16-year-old was arraigned on several charges, including assault on a police officer. Even though the suspect in this case is a minor, the DA says they will have to take extra steps to charge him as an adult. We want the 16-year-old kept in adult court. Uh, and Judge Carter will be the will, will be the judge. It's in the even though I say adult court, it's in the youth part uh, of adult court. Uh, and Judge Carter will be the judge, and he will be you know prosecuted um, as anyone else who's 18 and above, as long as we meet that significant injury threshold. And that's what I'm hoping occurs uh, are going forward. And the DA said uh, that the serious injuries he mentioned as of this morning, Officer Negron feels uh, remains in critical but stable condition at ECMC with head and spinal cord injuries. The DA said that while this started with a call about guns in the car, no guns were found on any of the people involved nor in the car. But that investigation is still underway. The 15 year old was arrested last night on a separate burglary charge that happened about a week ago. As for the officer, D.A. Flynn says Officer Negron is in critical but stable condition once again with severe head and spinal cord injuries.